Hey everyone and welcome back to Grayson's Bookmark. So today I have a confession to make. I know I said I wasn't going to start a Camp Nino July project, but I did. So now we're going to talk about it and at the end of this video I will be doing a writing sprint to finish off my first week of Camp Nino July. In my video about 10 things I learned from rereading my work in progress, I mentioned that like, nah, I'm not going to do a Camp Nino July project. Not officially, I'm just going to let it go and like work on my projects independently. But then I wrote an article about how it's not too late to start your Camp Nano July project and it seemed very hypocritical of me if I didn't actually start a Camp Nano project. So here we are. If you want to read that article it will be in the description. I write for the Young Writers Initiative under Jeepin Press and it is a resource for young writers. So today what I'm going to be doing is holding my laptop and explaining my word count to the past week, although I don't feel like you should have to explain how high or how low your word counts are. I just like to provide like a commentary on why they are what they are. And I will put screenshots on the screen so you can see what I'm talking about. I am editing this video all in one night, so I better figure it out. So yeah, and after this, I will do my final writing sprint of the week of seven days of NaNo. Oh, and as I'm talking about writing sprints, on Thursday, which is today, tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am hosting a writing sprint on my channel here. That's 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'd love to have you there. It's a time to write and be productive. And in between writing, we chat about the books we're reading, what we're writing, just casual life things. Thank you to everyone who was there last time. And you can set a reminder for that so you don't forget. You can do it right now, it's already uploaded. Already made a thumbnail and everything. I was much more prepared this week. Yeah, and I host those writing sprints every so often. Like once a month is normal for me. I'm not to the point where I'm ready to make a live stream schedule, but Thursday, 10 p.m., it's happening. Okay, so let's get into it. My day one count is looking really high. <laughs> it's looking like, a ridiculous day at 12,164 words. Now, I've never even done a 10K day. This was a lie. On July 1st, I inputted all the words I had previously done before July, just so I could include them in my total goal, which is lower than it should be, but we'll get to that. So this 12,000 words situation is just everything I had done before July 1st. And I think I didn't actually start until July 2nd. July 2nd, Still very abnormal for me to write 5,300 words. That's extremely high for me and I think I was just really excited. I wanted to get it done. I have a few important commitments coming up this month, not least of which is a summer camp job I have right now. So I'm trying to like be prepared for a decline in word count, which is why the next day, July 3rd, was still really high for me. It was 3,521 3, words. Yeah, just a lot. And at this point, we had crossed the 20,000 word mark. So my tentative goal, although I know I'm going to cross it, is 70,000 edited words for July. And I know that's a lot. The most I've legitimately written in a month for a project is 35,000 words in one month. But I will say, when you have something to work from, when you're not writing from scratch, it is easier to get words done for me, although it still takes time. It just takes less mental energy because there's still, like, there's still editing and reworking, deciding if things should be cut, and like tightening arcs, fixing plot holes. There's still a lot of that, but it's less like generation of new material. It's a little, I find easier and also like more exciting. Like it's more juicy. The work is I don't know, just more satisfying to get into. To quote my last video, I can feel it getting like tighter and like stitching it together. And I've come up with this metaphor and it's like rearranging a bookshelf by color. Some red books are over there, or some black books are over here, and you have a bunch of mixed colors in between. What you're doing is sliding out chapters, or in this case books in this metaphor, you're just slotting them into places that they might fit better and like flow more concisely. And at the end you have like a rainbow from Roy G. Biv and it's like all lined out and it all like makes sense. It's kind of like that. It's like taking something disorderly and making it ordered. It's really satisfying to me. It makes me want to write another first draft just so I can have this process again. But no, I shouldn't abandon this right now. Have patience for the next first draft I write. 
which would probably be, be Project A. If you want to see videos about Project A, I will also link that in the description. Okay, back to business. July 4th, perfectly respectable, 1,333 words. Now, this has been my lowest word count day so far. You know, more on par with like normal NaNoWriMo. And for my Camp April project, like, it's almost double. I'm not bothered by low word counts, especially because the next day was 3,435. And you know, naturally, like you're gonna fluctuate between lots of writing and then just a little less writing and then lots of writing and then less writing. And I feel like it's fine and it's natural. Um, I, I don't wanna push myself to the point where I get burned out. So this is a really long, long project. So yeah, those are my comments for July 5th. Not explaining myself, I'm just giving commentary. July 6th, two days ago for you, yesterday for me it was 1702 perfectly fine with that i think that was one chapter edited my goal is 70,000 words my first draft totaled at 70,950 words so i'm gonna end up editing more than 70,000. and i know already the total is gonna be <sighs> let me just show you so i have this spreadsheet that i made can someone say type a I'm just gonna explain what it does because it's kind of hard for me to say it concisely. What it does is it projects how long the new draft is gonna be by adding all the new plus the old word counts together. As I finish chapters, I input the new number and then it gives me a new total. Pretty simple, I think. And for July 7th, which is today, so far, I have 1,154. And so my goal for today is in progress. So this means I have already edited one chapter today and I want to get a second one done tonight. And I might even get to that 30K mark. I think that would be cool. Yeah, we're gonna go for it. But now I want to finish my words for today finish my second chapter. I feel relatively ready to do it. What helps me get through multiple chapters a day is taking, is not doing them all at once. I did the first chapter this morning, which by the way is chapter 18. So I did chapter 18 this morning. Right now I'm gonna do chapter 19 and it's been several hours in between and I feel refreshed and ready again. I'm gonna have some rain and library sounds going. It's gonna be good. So without further ado, let's write. And I've got my, I got the first draft here. Looking at that at the same time. Okay, and it is about 50 minutes later and I finished the chapter. So let me show you what I'm working with. Oh, wait, I can't show you that. Chapter 19 is now 1,835 words. And there's no need to remember that because Nano has a new feature I've discovered, which is that you can put in your total words instead of how many you got for the session. So if I look here and it says I have 30,467, all I have to do is type that. And now it's updated. It means today's total for Wednesday, July 7th is 3,012. My total is the 30,000 mark. It's very exciting for me. Just over 43% done. In terms of the graph, we are on the way and it predicts I will be done by July 16th, which it'd be great if I could finish early, but I know I'm gonna have some setbacks because of my commitments this month. Also, I changed the, the cover for Seaside and I'm digging it. So yeah, just a reminder, tonight at 10 p.m. Thursday, July 8th, I'm hosting live writing sprints. It's gonna be really fun, super organized. Um, it is my second stream, so please be kind to me as I figure out the StreamYard software. Hopefully I'll see you there. Comment down below how your Camp Nano is going. If your project is as ambitious as mine or you're doing something more chill like camp is supposed to be. Are you working on a short story, a memoir, a novel, an edit, a rewrite? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to find out what you're writing. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Grayson and here on this channel I post all kinds of writing and bookish content. My videos come out at 2 p.m. on Thursdays at Eastern Standard Time 
and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Gosh, I swear the cicadas were this loud the last time I filmed one of these. I'm always paranoid that my forehead is out of frame. Great. Now I'll put some... Now to edit.